let me show you another fine application okay, for Bontac elastomeric coating. This here is a shower stall under construction. You would normally use green board or cement board. What we've done is we've constructed this shower stall with various building materials. Regular, inexpensive, drywall gypsum board on this surface. The back surface of the shower stall is cement board. The right surface over here is fiber rock tile backer board. What we have done is we've coated the uh, cement uh, base of the shower stall with contact. We've applied uh, uh, tile grout uh, and laid the ceramic tile on the floor uh, as well as grouting the ceramic tile. Uh, we've used an acrylic based ceramic adhesive for the walls over here, the vertical walls. Uh, we've uh, as you can see, the trowel marks of the adhesive over here. Uh, what we've done is coated this area uh, with uh, Bontac 1500 and we use regular uh, fiberglass drywallers mesh applied over here uh, over the joints and coated the entire surface with Bontac uh, 1500 elastomeric coating. Uh, let me demonstrate uh, on this partially completed shower stall uh, the performance characteristics of uh, Bontac 1500. Now, as you are aware, these surfaces of course are naturally water protected because the adhesive and tile is already applied. This surface of course, under construction, does not have any water protective coating. It is strictly the use of Bontac on regular drywall gypsum board that's protecting the surface. Now, as you can see, uh, this hose will simulate a shower head and we're watering the unprotected surfaces, surfaces only protected with Bontac 1500. And the drywall, the cement board, and the fiber tile backer board. I'll close the water down briefly and we can take a look and see what is in effect is happening on the surface of Bontac. Zoom in now and we'll have a look. As you can see, the water is beating on the wood studs over here. On the tape, the water is beaded on the surface of the drywall on the cement board and on the tile backer board. Now, the cement board, of course, will resist to some degree water, but it will penetrate. The uh, drywall gypsum board, on the other hand, when uh, exposed to water, okay, would immediately begin to swell, absorb the water through the paper backing, okay, and the gypsum core would be completely destroyed. Uh, the fiber board as well, okay, has limited resistance to water on this surface. But taking a close look, you will see how the water is repelled from the Bontac surface. It beads up